No, I mean, it's okay, but... I mean, it's okay. I mean, you were on that side of the video, so it mm. just kind of doesn't make okay. sense. Okay! Hello! What's up, family? Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a different kind of video. I know that we've done a lot of more serious stuff here lately. Um, with exception for last week, but this one will be a little bit more lighthearted, but also serious at the same time. So this video topic came from the comment section of our video titled Reading the letters I wrote to my future husband and we went through all the letters that I wrote as a teenager and someone was like Hey, why didn't you read your list of qualities that you looked for in a husband? And I was like, well, actually, that's a really great idea for like a whole other video. And so I'll read that list, and then Nick's gonna share his perspective as well. So, do you wanna go first or me? You like, go first. Okay, I'll go first. All right, so I didn't necessarily list mine out uh, as a teenager uh, in that season of life, but I knew in my head things that I was looking for and things that I wanted to see in a woman. Yeah. And Chelsea exemplifies all those qualities and more. And here they are. I'm a, I'm a minister, I'm a preacher, aside from this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the first thing, the biggest thing was someone who um, was a Christian, someone who loved Jesus uh, as much as I love Jesus, and someone who was willing to pursue a life of ministry with me. Because uh, not everyone is fit for that, not everyone is suitable for that, not everyone wants to do that. So, um, mm -hmm. so that was a big one for me. The next one was good intentions, and as vague as that sounds and as uh, I guess normal as it sounds not everyone that you meet or not everyone that you date necessarily has the best intentions in mind especially um, not to be sexist this is not what we're, we're trying to do um, but I'm sure that some girls watching this video have at least heard or been around or maybe even dated guys that uh, objectify you yeah um, and so th I've seen that happen with guys too it's a hundred percent possible I've seen girls manipulate guys into doing uh, stuff that they did that they didn't necessarily want to do uh, and so I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't put myself in that position either That's good. the next one was honesty and integrity I think that one's pretty self-explanatory someone who's not gonna lie to me someone who has a uh, good heart and pure motives and has integrity to back up what they say and do what they say so I don't think that one requires too much explanation another one this one this one is kind of throwing us for a loop with some of our friends who really yeah and if you do this I'm not necessarily saying that like I'm not reprimanding you for it I'm just asking you to I guess evaluate why you're dating and evaluate your intentions but I wanted to date someone who was willing to date to marry I didn't want to wonder you know, if I'm dating this person for two years, if they're just trying to have a good time. And maybe they're dating someone else at the same time. Yeah, so the I'm whole not. dating for fun thing, it just really didn't make sense for me, especially also from a biblical worldview, which is how Chelsea and I live. It just didn't click with me, it didn't make sense with me, um, but that's also not me reprimanding you, that's just me saying and sharing uh, what I wanted and what I believe. Next one was physical attraction, and my girl got all oh, that. Look at this. Look at this. You're oh, nice. He. Okay, okay, okay. Before this video, Nick actually like put on this shirt, which is like his favorite nice shirt to wear. And I was wearing like a t-shirt and like yoga pants. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I have to change. And I haven't worn like a dress like this in super long, but it reminds me of like Easter slash like church clothes. So I hope we don't just look fancy for no reason, <laughs> but we just felt like getting dressed up. <laughs> yup. Yeah. So obviously, shout got that. So that one's covered. Easy. I knew that one right away. The next one, I've only got two more after this one, so three more total. Uh, someone who I could see myself with, like envision myself with, uh, and raising a family and then also sharing a lifetime with. The next one was a big one for me too. It's uh, someone who loves to travel. I, I know that Chelsea really likes being at home. She's a real homebody. Um, but I also wanted to be with someone who enjoys traveling and I think you do. I mean, you just went to South Africa and you loved it. The worst part about traveling is uh, the travel itself. But the going places and the seeing things, things and yeah, that's fun. I like driving more than I do flying, mm. I think, because well, you get to see, and well, if you're going a long way, of course, I mean, you can't just drive to yeah. South Africa, that'd well, be a little difficult. I would say it's important, too, to have a balance with that, because 
if you're traveling constantly all the time, I've noticed that my daily routines and like mm -hmm. my the ebbs and, fl and flows of life, like they don't naturally happen as easily as they would whenever you just have like a structured routine. Right. And so I think there has to be like a balance. Like obviously we shouldn't be traveling every week. Yes. Um, but there are some couples that do that and that's like their everyday life. We, we enjoy it, I think a healthy amount. Right. Which is good. Yeah, and tomorrow, which is Friday, we're actually going to Asheville, North Carolina for a couple of days. Uh, to a marriage conference, so that's gonna be bomb. My last one is someone who genuinely cares about things that I care about. This one's kind of a big deal to me because I don't want someone, I don't want to be with someone who just takes no interest in things that I find interesting or takes no interest in things that I find, I don't know, just joy in or things that I'm, I find fun like hiking or I'm like, I really like cars and I've kind of been like more into hunting lately and so I, Someone who's like has a general interest and can carry a conversation and things that I care about uh, is just massive. Sometimes things that someone you like are interested in, it just kind of sounds like odd because you've never really experienced those things the way that they have. Maybe it brings them joy and it kind of like weirds you out. Like you never know, mm -hmm. like whatever subject it is or whatever thing that you find an enjoyment in. It's just something you have to like almost force yourself to like mm -hmm. see into the mind of the person and like see why they even care about that thing. So, so Chelsea, what is your list of qualities? You actually have a list and she wrote this list on paper at 16 years old. This wasn't like a, um, yeah. a thing in notes that you take before the video um, like me. This is, you've had this for five or six years. Yeah, so. so this list is something that we went over, or we kind of like grazed upon in the yeah. letters video, and I wrote this one at 16. The first thing says, a spiritual leader and truly puts what God wants number one before me, even when he doesn't understand why God would want that, which is pretty, wow. that's a pretty complicated like bullet point. That's dense. But I think at this time I was learning a lot spiritually and I think this was when I first like truly started following Jesus and so I was like if I'm gonna be like pursued by someone I don't want to be led mm -hmm. astray and so I was like trying to write out this list. And the second is encourages others and doesn't put others down which is so huge to me. I just see so many relationships failing or not like hitting their highest potential in a way because they just choose to be people who don't speak like life about others. Like they, they just put others down. And so that's really important to me. Mm -hmm. Embraces the differences in people. I can't believe I wrote this when, when I was 16. Honestly, I, I don't even know if I would write this list like now. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be this But complex. this is what you were looking for then. Yeah. Um, but I prayed over this list. Yeah. And this I, is a lot. This is like real. Yeah. So I... I was very specific and I think that it's really important to like acknowledge the difference the differences in people and, mm -hmm. and notice like the beauty in it rather than the differences. Uh, weird humor and can take sarcasm. Sometimes I wouldn't find what you found funny to be funny and, uh, and vice versa. Yeah, but now I think we've both kind of adapted yeah. to just I think an altogether different style of humor that we both share that no, none of our friends have, but I think it's healthier now. I feel like humor kind of like grows on itself too because whenever you are in closer proximity with a person and you're intimate with them, not in just like a sexual sense, but also like um, being married with one another, you essentially, I mean, biblically you become one. So like everything on every level mm -hmm. changes and it kind of morphs into its new yeah. thing, you know? You so, both adapt and change and grow. Yes. It's good. So knows how to relax, but also can get stuff done. Cause I can sleep for <laughs> 14 hours and I can be awake for five and mm. do a video, a podcast, two weeks worth of homework and go back to bed. That's good. Slow to anger, which you've never really had any yeah, anger problems. No, I can, I think I'm good at internally processing that and coping with it and dealing with it. I've always wanted to be able to internally process anything that comes my way, whether good or bad, uh, whether it makes me happy, angry, confused, mm -hmm. any of that. So I'm I think, I've, yeah, I think I've, I've got a decent inward processing system. I don't know. I'm going to go a little bit faster now that we've been talking a lot. I don't yeah. want to take all of your guys' time, but some of these are like 
definitely you don't need them but it's my preference mm -hmm. and I would say the same thing to you feel free to write whatever you want but God's gonna definitely like weed things out and change things and shift them so be open to that I said taller than I and if you look at my history <laughs> I've dated guys who are all taller than me which is pretty interesting um, understanding and forgiving which is just important to have in friends too once both a boy and a girl, which yep. I think you do, um, can clean up after himself and it comes naturally to him, which is so nice that he is like that. I don't know if he'll always be like that. I sure I hope will. that you will I be. will. There's nothing worse than a dirty house. Yeah, but he, he's very clean, which is so, so nice because not all guys are like that. Attracted to him, which is very prominent. Is willing to cook and to learn. Oh wait, no, no, no. I said is willing to cook slash learn to. Like if you didn't already know. Oh uh, yeah. I well, feel like you've learned a lot because you used to not really cook that yeah. much whenever you were at home. This was a weird one I put on here, but it expects me to work after being a stay-at-home mom for a while. Yeah, <laughs> like I was weird. already thinking. But I don't. That I don't think you'll ever stop working though. Like I think even if you were a stay-at-home mom, you'd like always be doing something. To me, like working from home is a thing, and a lot of people don't believe that. But yeah. I do believe that. Genuine and protects my heart. Believe you have that. Hears me out even on the small stuff, which if I anything get that. bothers me though, you want to hear about what it is. Otherwise, yeah. it's like a control thing. I feel like if you don't know what, what's going on and there's yeah. something outwardly wrong, you want to like fix it or at least know what's going on. Yeah. Especially if, it, if it's related to you. Yeah, if it pertains to me, I'm, I'm definitely wanting to fix whatever it is. Has great guy friends he can lean on. Sure. Which you've had that over the years. Mm -hmm. Has big goals and dreams for himself. So, hmm. Has big goals and dreams for himself. For himself. Wow. Himself. <laughs> <laughs> Has big goals and dreams and does what he needs to do to accomplish them. Uses his social media platform to glorify Christ. <laughs> that was so random. That but was, that was my last that one. That was cringy. But I think I do that. I hope I do that. Yeah, but honestly, we've had the chats of like, uh, what even is the use of social yeah. media? But it's gone know. back and forth. So that yeah. was my list. We shared both of ours and yep. hopefully maybe it serves as a guiding tool to you writing yeah. your list or at least having this in the back of your right. mind when you're dating someone because I think we should be intentional about every relationship that we have. And if you don't agree with us on the whole dating to marriage thing, I would say, well, you want a friend, at least, in your life who is giving to you and you're giving to them as well. Like, you don't want a relationship that is just going to flourish and be great and then, like, crash Die. and burn. Right. You know what I mean? So, that's, like, kind of our perspective on it. And yeah. I think that God created us for relationship and on so many levels and I think I just learned so much in marriage mm -hmm. and if you guys are new to our channel we've been married since March of 2019 and so we just enjoy this topic because it's very relevant to us and we we love each other and we love you guys and we're just thankful for the opportunity that we have to create these videos for you guys and yep. yeah good stuff Alright guys, well that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it or you have any thoughts about it, make sure to leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe mm -hmm. button, whichever way it is, and uh, hit the bell icon as well so you never miss a video. I would, We would love to see what you guys think of our podcast as well, like writing down in the description here, like not the description, but the comments of what you've enjoyed so far from the, the podcast topics because we love that platform and we think it's super unique and we love to see like the transfer of people who watch our videos over a podcast. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next video. Remember, the only way to change tomorrow is to take a step today.